What's up, guys? So, Snap On came a day early this week. Uh, I guess my Snap On guy had something to do tomorrow, so he came today. Uh, just want to give you guys a sneak peek. Got Lauren over here doing some rear brakes on this Kia. But uh, check this out, check what I got. Pretty excited about it. Finally got the camera in. So, got a quick tool haul for you guys. Check it out right after this. All right guys, so here it is. Got another snap-on tool haul. Uh, obviously the camera, got a couple other things. Just wanna show you what I got. Also, uh, show you some of the uh, artwork I've been working on. Possible uh, merch, uh, maybe a logo. Got this. Pretty cool piston. I designed it myself, just messing around. And then here's this kind of the proto drawing. Here's the end one. It's got JRC 5.4 in it. Snap-on ratchet, snap-on screwdriver. Thought it was pretty cool. Figured I'd show you. And then I got uh, one I've been working on here. Skull. Pretty much looks like me if I was a skull, huh? So I'll design that one. Maybe do some stickers or something. Use this as an avatar on my YouTube channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Just figured I'd show you guys real quick before I kick off this tool review or this, this uh, tool haul. Um, but first up I got, I end up getting the quarter inch wobble extensions. It's got about six of them in here. Um, two inch, four inch, six inch, eight inch, and 11 with the wobble plus. Pick this up in the quarter. Here's the part number, 106 ATM XWP. Uh, if you guys can see that, I'll put it up on the screen. So you buy this. I think it was like 150 or something like that and you get to choose between a couple ratchets. I actually got the one ratchet last week. I don't know if it was the long handle, but I got this on special last week. So I chose this one. It's got the flex. I don't have it. Most of the ratchets I got is are in the soft grip, so but I'll get a couple of these. This one's the TLLFA70. No, TLLF72. Long handle, flex, quarter inch, nice ratchet. And then I picked up the uh, another pliers. I got a the set of dikes, the flush cut, flush cut dikes. Um, real cool. It's got the protective cover on there, but you could cut it down real, real flush. Most maybe for electrical, cutting zip ties and things like that. Um, you know, intricate electrical work and things like that. You don't want to use these on anything too uh, too heavy gauge because you know it's real thin metal. You'll probably break it. So that's why they give you the protective boot. Part number on this one, 786CF, but pretty nice. If you guys haven't seen them, check them out. It's got the nice handle, rubberized handle, just like all the Snap-on players do. So this could go in the drawer with the rest of them. Slowly, uh, slowly stocking up on those players. So I picked up those. I also got the, uh, the Snap-on light with the UV seen these super bright UV light in it um, I think this thing's got 400 lumens 400 lumens on max 50 on the lowest setting um, run time is about three and a half hour on brightest setting 10 hours on lowest setting and then the UV is eight hours so this thing's pretty nice though it's got that magnetic base to it obviously comes with the charger plug um, here's the light itself Thing's pretty slick. Rubberized handle, got the Snap-on logo on it. It articulates 180 back and forth. The buttons on the back are actually two separate buttons, one for the UV and one for the light. I know on the, some of those other lights, you gotta kinda hit the button three times to get the UV to turn on. One's for bright, second one for dim light. But this is kinda nice, they separated the buttons here so you can UV it when you wanna UV it. Super bright UV, that's the UV light. 
and then a separate button. For, you could run them both and then turn one off. You got a separate button for the light and then obviously hold it down, it dims it, double click, all the good stuff. Let's see, what do we got? Hold on, UV, hold the light down, that dims it down. You got the flash mode it looks like, it goes back up. So pretty cool light, definitely built well. I'll stick with the stick this with all the other snap-on lights I got. It's got a really cool magnetic, it's magnetic, and then also I want to say the charger is magnetic too. The base of the charger, you can kind of stick on the side of your cart or the side of your box. I don't know if you guys can pick that up and then charge it on the side. It's all real slick that they thought of that. And it looks like it's also got an output so you can charge your phone off of it or run another power source off of it. So that was pretty slick. So I had to pick that up. That's the uh, part number ECARC041. I'll put that up on the screen too if you guys can't see that. But that's pretty much those tools. And then I got the BK8500. Finally came in, guys. This thing is uh, is the cat's ass. This this camera is definitely going to be a time saver for me. Especially I do a lot of diag things like that. Um, another thing on the list I'll probably get is that uh, the Snap on Smart Smoke. This one works with that. Um, you know, finding those evap leaks. It's got that you can put UV dye in it, and the camera picks up UV dye for AC and in, and in that um, or oil leak. You can put UV in the oil and be able to find oil leaks with this um, but it seems like a really cool camera it's got uh, it's got two cameras in it I want to say the head is eight millimeters something like that you could switch it out for a smaller one um, but yeah this thing links to the Varus wirelessly you can link you can link it to your uh, smartphone so I'll be back here diagnosing a car I could uh, link up my wife's phone or the tablet up front show a customer while they're here live what's going on with their car so I thought that was a pretty cool feature to it. Uh, obviously the updates, hook it to your laptop. I could hook it to the, my laptop, uh, things like that, save pictures and stuff like that. But uh, let me show you guys what's in the box. Comes in a nice blow molded case. Boom, huge manual. This thing is like a Bible, super thick. Probably all the things it do, does in there, you can see. Um, so I pulled it out earlier just to kind of check it out, power it up, make sure it was charged up. It's got the wand on there, it's wireless, completely wireless. I want to say this is magnetic too. So the screen sticks. You can see, I'll show you here. Kind of stick the screen anywhere, magnetic. Magnets on the back of it. It's got a camera on the back, little kickstand, prop it up. That way you still got two hands when you're looking at the screen, not like some of the ones where you got to kind of guide the camera down in there while you're holding the monitor and you're kind of fumbling around. I like how they did that. Box comes with the charger. Looks like this charger charges both of them at once. They got the charger at the bottom of them. Here and here. So when they're hooked up together, that'll match up. So you can charge the wand and the, the monitor at once. And then here's the camera. You can see you got camera in the front and then a camera on the side also. Both got lights on them, LEDs on them. Super long cord, cable on there. Let's power this thing up. Let's see what we got here. Snap on BK8500, booting up. You can see it's Wi Fi enabled. You can hook it to your, your, your Wi Fi. Turn on the camera. Let it sync up. I'm not sure if it's Bluetooth or what, how they sync together. Probably Bluetooth. You got all your menu and all that stuff. Probably pictures you could go through. Let's see, which one's that? So that's, so that's the front camera on here. We got the front camera, and then we got we can switch it. We can do the side camera, 
check walls of the cylinders and things like that So because you, you can't really get a turn on it. That's the side camera on here. You can see. Right, that's the front camera. Here's the side camera. There's the side one. And then it's also got a camera on the actual unit itself. Seems to take a while to load up. This looks like the best looking camera on there. But yeah, guys, this thing looks uh, pretty slick. I could definitely see myself putting this thing to good use and uh, using it on some of those harder, uh, harder reached areas, you know, checking down in the cylinders, maybe checking valves, carbon up valves and things like that. You know, just, just these tools to make life easier. You know, these things are, uh, these tools are coming out. You know, they save me money in the long run. They really do. I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money on these things, you know, because they, they, these tools pay for themselves. I'm telling you guys, you know, you got to do your research on these tools and uh, make sure we invest in these tools that, you know, save us money and make our job easier as technicians, especially if you guys are fairly new to the industry. But uh, still got to go through this, learn how to use it, kind of learning curve, just like the multi-probe and all the other snap-on stuff uh, that they're coming out with. But I'll tell you one thing, snap-on with their diagnostic, man, they are, they are top in their field. They are definitely uh, running the market on this diagnostic stuff. Um, I haven't seen a better camera than this out there, digital camera than this. So give you, figure I'd give you guys a look at that. Maybe I'll do a review on it. Well, of course, we'll do a tools in action on this one. Um, real excited about getting it. I know I've been telling you guys about it, but it finally arrived. So I'm going to put this through the ringer, see what it's made out of, try to use it as, as its full potential, you know. So... But that's it guys, I'm still waiting on those Milwaukee's to show up, quick sneak peek, got the uh, 3 8 in the other day, still waiting on that quarter, the half inch stubby to come in, I'll make sure I do a tool haul review on those, um, as always guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video, signing out.